Hello guys, welcome to Selenium Training once again. This is Naveen here. So uh, today I'm going to cover one uh, uh, one topic in Selenium that is uh, called headless browser. Okay, what is the concept of headless browser? What is the concept of HTML unit driver class in Selenium? Okay, because uh, it's not important for project point of view, but it's really important sometimes for uh, if you're writing very some small script or some utility you have created and you want to let's say you have written only five to ten test cases and you want to execute quickly without opening the browser okay in that case you can use it but interview point of view it's very important topic they will ask you at a time of interview that uh, how will you run your script without opening the browser okay so let's do it let me open my clips and uh, what i'll do so first we will write some basic script uh, you know uh, okay with the chrome browser okay with the chrome driver and then we will see that okay the same thing it's happening through html unit driver without opening the browser okay so let's create a class and let's see my class name is html unit driver concept select the main method and click on finish and uh, same thing we will do for uh, chrome driver as we know that what we have to do that we have to define the system property and uh, chrome driver.exe file and all the prerequisites thing okay like launching the chrome browser maximize the window delete all the cookies dynamic weight we have given page load timeout let's see page load timeout of 20 seconds and implicitly weight of 20 seconds something like that and uh, let's see my site name is www.freecrm.com okay <coughs> sorry guys okay so freecrm.com and uh, so this site is i'll tell you that what exactly this site it looks like so let me open that so this is freecrm.com and uh, what we will do that we will launch this particular site and then we will enter username and password and then we will click on login button right so let's quickly do that so i'll simply use driver dot find element by dot name and if you spy this element okay so i won't use this xpath because this xpath is coming in the form of hierarchy based and there is no id also so i'll use by dot name name is username okay name and dot send keys and my send keys is naveen k this is my username okay and driver dot find element by dot name this is for password and i'll spy the password and my password is this and this is my password dot send keys and my send keys is uh, test at the rate one two three so i have already created the username password for this particular site and then what i'll do and then i'll spy this login button and uh, there, i don't want to use it xpath there is no id also we can use this we can just create our customized xpath so driver dot find element by dot let's see xpath and my xpath we know that see please refer customize xpath session how to create dynamic xpath or custom xpath okay double slash we know that xpath should start with double slash and this is an input field so we will write input and my xpath will be let's see i'll be using this attribute type attribute is equal to submit so at the rate type is equal to submit right and uh, then i'll be using dot click method because we have to click on this okay so it will enter this username password and then it will click on login button right now what i'll do i'll do one thing that after launching my free crm.com page the first page uh, i want to print system dot printlin driver dot get title i want to print the title and then enter username password go to the uh, click on submit button 
and again I want to print system dot out print and again I want to get the title so driver dot get title method is there right so driver dot get title so immediately after launching the page also I'm getting the title and uh, after login also I'm getting the title okay so let's write like this before login title is this and uh, I'll write like this after login title is this okay so something like that I have written okay so before login title and after login title simple script very simple with Chrome driver okay so let's run it and uh, if you run it if you see it's getting launched Chrome is getting launched and uh, it's entering the URL okay username password it entered okay I think some problem what is saying okay let's give some weight okay we do one thing after uh, click on submit let's give some weight thread dot sleep okay I'm just giving hard-coded weights guys right? so you can put it explicitly weight or implicitly weight later but that's not important as of now so I'm giving some static weight okay two seconds of uh, weight I have given 2000 milliseconds now let's run it again okay so it's launching okay it will entering the username password and click on login and uh, after login it's coming on the okay on the home page and then program is over fine now see before login title is this hash one free crm for any business online customer relationship software and after login we are getting title is crm pro so if you see after login crm pro right this is after login this is called title and if i log out and you see on the home page this is a title hash one free crm for any business online customer relationship software so what i'm doing here i'm just printing okay i'm just printing the title of the page before login and after login with chrome driver now what if i want to use html unit driver so what i'll do i'll comment this line okay i'll simple write web driver driver is equal to new html unit driver like this okay guys now guys one thing remember this html unit driver is coming from where html unit driver is not part of selenium 3.0 okay before selenium 3.0 html unit driver was part of selenium jar files now what we have to do i'll write some notes for you guys html unit driver is not available in selenium 3.x version it means after selenium 3 it's not part of html unit driver is not part of selenium 3 jar files okay once you download selenium jar file it is not part of selenium 3 okay html unit driver you have to html unit driver now what we have to do to download this <coughs> to use this concept we have to use we have to download html unit driver jar file okay html unit driver jar file we have to download okay so how to download html unit driver file i'll go to my google page okay on google page simple write html unit html unit driver jar download okay and uh, simple click on this first link and this is the latest version uh, 2.27 before that uh, 
on 4th of April it was there now the latest version is this 2.27 this is the latest version that you have to download so I'm gonna download it so just simply click on it it will be okay save it somewhere let's see I'm gonna save it on my okay it's very simple 60 very small size 16.8 MB around okay so once it is there and then I'll go to the directory where exactly it got downloaded which so available here HTML unit driver is available inside my download folder okay so if you see the name HTML HTML unit driver 2.27 with dependencies dot jar file you have to download guys okay after selenium jar files and what you have to do you have to get this particular jar file in your build path in your project build path so you have to import you have to associate this jar file in your project so how to do that just like we did for selenium so go to project properties and click on java build path click on libraries and this is external jar so we have to click on add external jars and go to download and see this is the file okay no we have to download 2.27 so let me I mean we have already downloaded 2.27 we have to select this one the latest one let me check see this one no that is rename server this one okay that's we downloaded just at 10 11 today okay and then click on open so once you have associated this HTML unit driver 2.27 okay see I've already added HTML unit driver 2.24 so I'm going to remove this so just remove it we get the latest one 2.27 version is the latest one and that's it and click on okay okay once you click on okay okay you will see that HTML unit driver is coming from where HTML unit driver is coming from open QA selenium HTML unit this particular package it's coming right so okay now what is the concept of HTML unit driver now now see guys if you run this program so I have already commented this chrome driver now I am launching HTML unit driver so what will happen if you comment okay I mean if you are launching your web driver with HTML unit driver if you run it let's run it what exactly it will do it will not open any browser see it's not opening because there is no HTML unit driver concept I mean there is no HTML browser right so see it's printing the title and after login what exactly it will do it should print after login also it's printing title okay so it's printing before login also title is there and after login also title is there and without opening the browser see I'll run it again let me close these two Chrome browser so that you won't get confused okay so I'll run it again now see without opening it's not opening any browser guys simple it's so fast right so let's see now you have 10 to 20 test cases without opening the browser there is no navigation nothing there is no launching of the browser nothing it is so fast that immediately it will give you the result okay so with HTML unit driver there is no browser okay there is no browser launching it's simply testing has happened behind the scene so they will ask you at a time of interview what are a, what is HTML unit driver so there are three advantages okay advantages of HTML unit driver first is testing is happening behind the scene okay it means no browser there is no browser no browser launching okay second is it's very fast okay it means execution of test cases is very fast okay execution of test cases very fast so automatically it will improve the performance okay performance of the script so that very quickly you can get the result okay so these are the two major advantages that testing is happening behind the scene and it's very fast but always remember HTML unit driver is not available in selenium 3.x version we have to download separately this jar file you have to download the latest version okay and there is no browser 
it's very fast okay but there are some limitations in html in a driver if the html structure and the dom structure is very complex okay then it will not work sometimes it won't work especially it will not work not suitable for action class it means all the user actions user actions like like mouse movement okay mouse movement or double click or maybe let's see drag and drop okay these features you cannot automate with the okay you cannot do with HTML your driver but let's say you have some small script you immediately want to test couple of features okay again and again in that case you can use HTML unit driver and this is also called I would say HTML unit driver very important. This is also called Ghost driver why we call ghost driver because it's not visible. Nothing is visible Everything is happening behind the scene. This is also called ghost driver or very important Headless browser it means a browser is there, but which is headless. There is no head Okay there is no head, there is no browser body, there is no head of the browser. That's why this is also called headless browser. Okay, so there are different headless, headless browsers are available in the market. The first one is, this is HTML unit driver. Okay, HTML unit driver with Java. Okay, second one is, we have, uh, if you heard about PhantomJS, this is for JavaScript. Okay. This is for JavaScript, Phantom JS also, it's there. And there are some other couple of uh, uh, headless browsers are available. Ghost driver and other drivers are available, you can check. But uh, generally, uh, we don't use, okay, in real time applications that uh, HTML menu driver or these headless browsers. Okay, generally we don't use that. But sometimes it happens that, okay, some people I have seen that uh, they are using for, let's see, <clears throat> You are running on AWS or, or, or any some VM environment where there is no browser and if you want to get the results very quickly and it's only for sanity and a smoke testing point of view, very straightforward uh, test cases you have written and you don't want to uh, launch the browser, navigation, click on this button, link and all those stuff. If you don't want, if you want to avoid all those browser navigations, okay, in that case, HTML unit driver you can use. Okay, so this is the concept of HTML unit driver. If you mouse over, HTML unit driver is a class. Can you see that? C, C means this is a class. This class is implementing web driver interface. A web driver is I, I mean interface. So this is a class which is implementing web driver interface. So earlier in 2.53, HTML unit driver was part of Selenium jar files. But now after 3.0, all the vendors in the market, we have Safari, we have uh, Opera, we have Firefox, we have Chrome, Internet Explorer, and HTML unit driver. They have given the, okay this particular responsibility to all the vendors that Selenium says that we will not take care of Chrome driver, we will not take care of Firefox driver and all those stuff. You guys, the respective vendors will be taking care of it. So that's why they have introduced Geeko driver. Firefox, Mozilla, they have introduced Geeko driver. Uh, for Chrome, we have Chrome driver, right? For Safari, we have Safari extension. That's why HTML unit driver is also separated. Okay, that's why HTML unit driver is not part of Selenium 3. So it's again important interview question. They will ask you why, what are the new changes are there in Selenium 3? So this is one of the feature that right? these are the new, this is a, one of the new change in, H, in Selenium 3. Okay, HTML unit driver is a separate entity now. Okay, so this is a very small topic, that's all. Please practice and you can practice with any any other thing. I mean any other uh, application and uh, print the title, fill the form, but you won't be able to see anything. That's it. But you can see if you want to really track, you can print some system dot dot print element you can write so that you can track it on the console that what is happening. Okay. So that's all for this particular class. And uh, please guys refer all the videos before starting all the sessions. Please refer all the selenium sessions are available step by step and please subscribe to my channel okay thank you so much guys i'll see you